Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Leos, and this is going to be the weekly check-in for the 11th to the 17th of June. I will be using my Radiant Rider White Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using Learning Tarot cards. And then I will pull a card for you for my messages from the Guides Transformation deck. So, Leo, let's see what messages we have for you. So Leo, this is for you. The Knight of Pentacles. Routine, slow and steady. Judgment. Renewal. You were self-evaluated. Good for you. You feel brand new. You got clarity. The Ace of Swords. That was the Knight of Pentacles, the Judgment card, and now the Ace of Swords. The Ten of Wands. You got some extra stuff that's kind of weighing you down. I'm going to say extra responsibility. But there's something now it could be mental it could be in the sense of emotional or physical it could be financial but you're moving forward regardless although you're carrying this weight you're still moving so that's good so you're still making progress even though you have this heavy weight on you and you got the three of pentacles this is some kind of teamwork or collaboration might have something to do with a job or finances or money, something. <laughs> the universe has a hand in it. And then the Queen of Swords. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius in your environment. And they're very straightforward with their communication. They sound kind of cold sometimes, but they're not. They're very kind-hearted. Now, I don't know if this is the way you're feeling. Maybe you're thinking about, maybe that's the way you feel, and maybe you're also thinking about communicating with someone or expecting communication from someone. Then you got the Four of Swords. Need to go take a little rest. You need to go within. You need to rest a little bit. You've been doing a little too much. You need to do some thinking. You've got the four swords. Then you got the emperor. Now this couldn't be an energy. This could be an energy in your environment. Um maybe an older person, someone who gives you advice. Um, this is not a romantic individual. They just give you pretty good advice. It's someone that you listen to. The emperor. And then you got the nine of cups. Your wishes come true. But what part of the wish comes true? Let's see if we can clarify this stuff here.
So on top of the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Three of Wands. Slow and steady is the pace. You're making plans and you might be moving forward. You're making plans. You want to move forward. You might. I, I have a feeling you want to move out of where you are to start a new beginning. I got the Three of Wands and I got the Ace of Cups on top of the Knight of Pentacles. You're working on it. It's not nothing you're working on fast. Maybe the maybe it's slow movement. Maybe it's not nothing that you can do in a hurry. But you are working towards something. And it seems like a new beginning in a different place. Just my feeling. And then there's the judgment card here. Maybe you went within and you did some self-evaluations. And I don't know, forgave yourself, forgave others. And you feel a sense of renewal. On top of that comes the Ten of... Ten of Swords. Hmm. So this card says backstabbing, betrayal, enemies, bitching, bad mouthing, bitterness, doormat, failure, ruin, collapse, breakdown, exhaustion, and ability to cope. Curses, rock bottom, hitting a wall, dead end. I say it's just something that broke you. Ending. Something ended and it broke you. But now you're feeling a sense of renewal. It's given you some extra responsibilities. You feel overloaded. You got a lot of weight on your shoulders. You got the Ten of Wands here and you got the Ten of Wands here. But you're taking on a little too much, okay? Or you have taken on a little too much. But there is going to be a sense of renewal for you, okay? You got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands here. It's a little struggle going on, okay? But you're going to have mental clarity. New inspirational ideas. I guess to get yourself out of the way you're feeling. You're going to have a decision to make. And you're going to have to go within. Have you been honoring your spiritual self? You got to do some soul searching, darling. You got to make some decisions and the decisions will come from within you. No one can't make these decisions for you, but you. I don't know what the decision is about, but it's something that it will give you new beginnings. It'll give you new ideas. It'll give you some clarity. But you got to make the decision. I got the two of swords here and I got the hermit. And then the Ten of Wands again. All this weight. You're carrying a lot of weight. And there's some victory coming in. It's coming in a little bumpy. Or you will come a few things. It's a little bumpy. It's the chariot. But it's moving. You're working hard. Seems like you're focused. You feel like nothing will stop you now. And you're about to make a transition. <clears throat> You're transitioning to calmer waters. I wanted to say to the lifestyle that you're accustomed to. I don't know why. You're overcoming a lot of hardships. You're going to have relief and stability. I got the chariot and the six of swords above the ten of wands, okay? So relief is coming in. Then you got the three of pentacles here. The universe is building something, some kind of teamwork. It might be some teamwork with this queen of swords. I don't know. Or maybe you're going to receive some communication about a job or it's not going to, it's going to be like a group, more than one person, two or three people, maybe. So maybe you're awaiting some communication. So... You got the Three of Pentacles here, and on top of the Three of Pentacles came the Wheel of Fortune, which is good luck, destiny. And you got the Ace of Swords here. Clarity, new ideas, new plans. Fortune might be on your side. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords above the Three of Pentacles. 
Good luck. Good fortune is on your side. You might be receiving that communication. So where this Queen of Swords is concerned, whether it's an energy or someone or some messages you're waiting for, something you're working on. I don't know if you're communicating with someone. Um, about a job. Something about money. Trying to make money and you're working towards it. I got the Eight of Pentacles here. Just be patient. It's coming. And then the Knight of Pentacles. You got a routine down. The Knight of Pentacles was the first card up here. Just be patient, okay? It's coming. Slow and steady sometimes wins the race. Don't give up. All right? So the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. On top of the Queen of Swords. You've been working hard. You got the Four of Swords here. Need to take a rest. You're under some stress, aren't you? So right here, you got the Queen of Cups and you got the Queen of Wands. You got a lot of feminine energy around you. So the Queen of Wands would be you. The Queen of Cups could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. Now, these two cards came on top of the Four of Swords, right? My feeling is this, that the Queen of Cups, if this is not an energy in your environment, you need to st you need to take a break. You really do need to take a break. You're feeling really emotional and you're feeling um, very sensitive. And you might just need to get away for a minute, even if it's a walk. It doesn't have to be nothing expensive, okay? Take a break. And that came on top of the Queen of Wands, which would be you, Leo. You got a lot of good business sense, okay? You got good sense, so follow what your body's telling you, okay? Only you can make that decision. The Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Then we have the Emperor. Top of the Emperor, we have the Eight of Cups and the Strength card. You need to look within. You will be able to solve your problems if you look within. The Eight of um, Cups could mean like you're walking away or you're, ba you're abandoning an idea or a plan. Um, and it can also mean self-analysis, introspection, self-discovery, looking deeper. Okay, if something keeps happening to you over and over again, okay, think of who the common denominator is. You might not have faced your past fully, and you might need to do that in order to heal. When you start this healing journey, and it's something that I will talk about all the time, when you start this healing journey, your life will change drastically. I'm not saying things are going to be smooth. They're not. Not here where we are. But we could make it better. So you need to look within and you will find your inner strength. The Eight of Cups and the Strength card above the em Emperor. And your wishes will come true. Believe it or not. You got the emperor here, the emperor card, and the, this card here says, I am my own authority. I have the will and the power to create my life's structure. I'm going to leave that one there. That message was for you. And then the six of cups. 
these are memories. You want to return to your roots. You want to move. I think you're moving. I think you're moving somewhere where I don't know, but it's somewhere that you've been before. You're thinking of the past, not necessarily romantic, okay? But, um, fingers itching. But you're thinking of the past. And I have a feeling that you might return or you might be thinking of going somewhere, moving somewhere. I got the five, I pulled the five of swords here. Wherever you are, you feel defeated. You feel you need a change. And when you do that change, I think you will find your independence. I got the Five of Cups and I got the Nine of Pentacles. You're going to start seeing your rewards. You're going to start being stable. See, you have the choice. The choice is in your hands. You are part of the key. <laughs> you could do this. You can do this, darlings. You can do this. I'm telling you, man. So let's see what message we have here for you. Be yourself. Be yourself. You chose to incarnate in this physical dimension for a clear reason and purpose. You chose the correct circumstances to learn specific lessons. If you stray from this original path because of peer pressure, feelings of wanting to fit in, the need for acceptance or fear of judgment or discrimination, then the experience that your higher self has chosen to invest its energy and focus on have been for nothing. If this card appears in your spread, Examine how some emotions, traits, or desires that reflect your true self have been stifled or hidden because you are afraid of presenting them to an unaccepting world. Please be aware that concealing your true colors is like giving your GPS the incor incorrect coordinates of your location. You will become hopelessly lost. Let the true light shine because all those things that are meant to be drawn to you shall find their way. So darlings, be yourself. I love you. You take care of yourselves and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.